Do you think a quick meal from your freezer means frozen pizza? It doesn't have to. If you've got your freezer well stocked with the right ingredients, you can put together a quick and healthy meal in no time. I'm Susan Bowerman, registered dietitian, and I think I learned how to stock my freezer when my kids were little. We were always trying to put together healthy meals, but with me working and my husband working and my kids with schoolwork and soccer, there was very little time to put meals on the table quickly. But I learned to stock my freezer properly, which meant that I could just go in and grab a few staples and put something on the table in no time. So let me show you some of the things that I still keep in my freezer to this day, even though it's just the two of us at home. Let's start with the proteins. Well, I usually have a package of ground turkey breast, I usually have some frozen shrimp, and I usually have some cooked chicken breast as well. The ground meat is great for any recipe that calls for ground beef because it has less fat and less calories, so I might use that for a pasta sauce or I might use it to make chili. And with the shrimp, it's great because you can buy shrimp either cooked or you can buy it raw. So depending on what your recipe calls for, it's very easy to use. The cooked shrimp is great. You can just put that into a soup if you want to or into a pasta sauce, which is great. If your recipe calls for something where you need to cook the shrimp, like a stir fry, you can go ahead and buy the raw shrimp, thaw them out in the, either in the microwave really quickly or just put them in a bowl of water for about 10 minutes and they'll thaw out and then they're ready to use. With the chicken, my favorite thing to do with chicken is to buy it in bulk. I lay all my chicken breasts out on a cookie pan, and what I do is I season them differently. I'll brush a few with barbecue sauce, maybe put a little teriyaki on a couple of them, a little curry powder maybe, some lemon, some herb, and I cook all of them at one time, and when they're done, I just package them up and I put them in the freezer. I have a variety of chicken I can use. I can thaw it out again in the microwave quickly, slice it on top of a salad, fold it into a corn tortilla maybe for a quick taco. That's a great thing to have. Now, as far as veggies, I usually keep some frozen loose packed spinach leaves and broccoli for sure, and also these edamame soybeans. Now, the loose vegetables are great, again, because you can put these into stir fries. You can just steam them up and use them as a side dish. You can put them in a soup. You can put spinach into things like omelets if you're making a special breakfast. So that's a nice thing to have available. With the edamame soybeans, you can buy these like I have them here already in the pod, or you can get them shelled if you want to. When the beans are shelled, again, you can toss those into a soup or a stir fry. I like to buy them in the pods because I like to snack on them. So they just get a very quick dip into some hot, salty water, and they're really good to snack on. And it slows me down eating them because it takes a little while for me to get the little seeds outside of the pod. So that's a nice thing to have around for a quick snack. Now, with fruit, there's all kinds of frozen fruits available. I like to have things like pineapple and mango and frozen berries in my freezer. And I use them primarily for my protein shakes in the morning. The other thing I like to do with frozen fruit is, again, thaw it very quickly in the microwave, stir it into some yogurt for a snack. It's a great thing to have around. Or sometimes when I just want a little nibble of something sweet, certain fruits are really good just frozen as they are. Mango chunks are really good frozen. Cherries are really good frozen. Another thing I keep in the freezer is bags of brown rice. Now, that may sound like an odd thing to do, but when you're busy and you're trying to get a meal together, you don't want to wait 45 minutes for your brown rice to cook. But as long as you're cooking, make a lot of it, package it up into portions that you know your family's going to use, and stash it away in the freezer. I've got an amount here that's just enough for me and my husband for a meal. Again, I could thaw it out in the microwave in no time, and that way I can have some healthy brown rice for a meal and I don't have to wait 45 minutes for it to cook. So that's great. The last thing you'll often find in my freezer, that's where I keep most of the nuts that I keep in the house. So here I've got just some raw almonds. They do make a nice snack. The reason I keep them in the freezer, even though they don't take all that long to thaw, is if I keep them out, I, I'm tempted to eat them. <laughs> so if I keep them in the freezer, I don't eat as many. But these are nice to have, and nuts will stay fresher also if you do keep them in the freezer. The last thing I wanna talk about is bananas. Now, I don't know about you, but I can never get it quite right with bananas. I either run out of bananas, or I have too many bananas, and I don't wanna make banana bread, because I'll eat it. So what I've learned to do is to freeze any bananas that are a little past their prime. It's really simple. 
Don't just put it in the freezer though like this because it's impossible to peel when it's frozen. But it's really easy. Just take the peel off, take the banana, wrap it up into some wax paper, put it into one of these freezer bags and pop it in the freezer. They're nice to have. Again, you can cut these up and put them into your protein shakes. It'll thicken it up. Or you might just want to eat the banana chunks frozen because they almost taste like ice cream. So when you open your freezer, all you're seeing is frozen pizza. Maybe you should put some other things in there and maybe next time you open it, you'll see a healthy meal instead.